Welcome everyone to the annual general meeting of OSGEO. Um, as you know, we are on the closing session and we have to be very strict with the time. We have more than 100 slides. We have a lot of groups, initiatives, projects that want to present. And uh, as I told you on the uh, opening uh, plenary, it's very difficult to show everything OSGEO is doing, is, and is planning to do. So uh, we have, I'm sorry, but we have 25 seconds per group, initiative, project, whatever. Um, I have a chronometer here and I'm not going to give the mic to anyone. I'm just going to put the mic in front of whoever has to talk. And the idea is that you queue here in the same order as the slides. If you are not on stage when your slide is uh, on the screen, you're not going to talk. The slides have a lot of data. You can, um, the idea is not to tell everything. What? Don't worry. Um, so the idea is not to tell everything that is on the slides, just uh, some remarks. And um, you can uh, check the slides later for more things. So, annual meeting. Uh, what is OSGEO? If you don't know by now, we have a problem. OSGEO is a not-for-profit software foundation. We, took care, we take care of uh, open source geospatial software. We try, it's volunteer driven, it's not for profit. Some of us uh, are lucky and may have some, or part of our work uh, funded by some company, but this is volunteer work. Um, which does not mean that we should confuse uh, free as in freedom with free as in free beer. And we try to outreach and advocate for open source uh, in geospatial. We have uh, a lot of partners. Um, we have other open source partners that uh, uh, are doing parallel work with us. We have also partners with, in open data, working with open standards like with OGC. I guess you have seen a lot of OGC here. We have uh, partnering, uh, some kind of partnering with OpenStreetMap. We have partners with many universities. You can check all the uh, MOOCs, all the um, understandment uh, list of uh, people we have uh, partnered with. Um, we have uh, many uh, sponsors. Uh, we have a new Diamond sponsor, is it, which is here. Uh, platinum sponsor Geocat, and uh, well, then I don't know exactly which one, but you can see here all the sponsors. Thanks to all uh, the sponsors, because without them we couldn't be here organizing anything, because uh, they not only sponsor events, and uh, sometimes uh, OSGEO directly, but they also are the ones that are generating business around open source, they are the ones paying developers to create open source, and that's also very important. Um, this is a quick status overview of OSGEO. We have uh, 425 elected charter, charter members. Um, you know that we will have elections right after, well, right after. In a few weeks after FOS4G, we still have to make the, the dates fixed. And uh, those members are the ones that uh, elect the board members, like me, like Jody, like Mike, like Astrid. So uh, it's very important that the charter members check the elections, that you choose people that are trustable to be charter member. And later, it's also important that uh, if you think that someone should be on the board, you contact them and nominate them to be on the board because we have uh, board elections right after the normal elections. And if uh, any of you wants to help uh, the cross, you can uh, contact, uh, for example, Vicky or uh, George uh, into um, helping uh, the election process to be as transparent and, and as clean as possible. We have almost 1,000 members on the website registered, and we have a lot of um, uh, subscribers to our mailing lists. Uh, this is the current board. Uh, five of us are finishing our term uh, right on the next elections. So, hi, I'm the president. We have uh, treasurer, secretary, other directors. And um, there's also uh, official officers from OSEO, which are the ones that uh, represent each OSEO project. And uh, we also have the chief returning officer that uh, uh, act also as uh, 
official officer uh, of OSGEO. Um, we have many, many projects. As uh, you have seen during the week, there is more projects that we can uh, explain quickly. Uh, <coughs> we have also no new projects for incubation. I don't know if Jody wants to add something later. Okay, later we will talk about incubation. We also added the community uh, category. I don't know if it was already on last AGM, but yes, it was. It's uh, like um, not incubating projects, not official OSGEO projects, but uh, projects that are open source and are uh, geospatial and are, use, um, are good for the community. We also have a lot of local chapters. We have at least two new regional chapters. Argentina and Oceania. I think we, we have representatives from both chapters, which may want to say something. Um, we have also um, upgraded a bit the sponsorship program. You can check on the website. It's just um, for those of you who doesn't know, if uh, some, some sponsor sponsors some event uh, related to uh, OCEO, like a regional Phos4G, uh, that amount of money that they spend on that sponsorship counts to be uh, an official OCEO sponsor because the sponsors of OCEO should reflect the, the, the entities that help OCEO uh, function properly. So if you have sponsored or you know some company or entity that have sponsored some event and I, is not listed on the OCEO sponsors webpage, just let them know. Um, we have also uh, options for recurring sponsors, so if you are a sponsor that uh, are sponsoring year after year or CEO, you have some uh, extra benefits. Also we have uh, lots of uh, partners and friends, as I mentioned before. We have 13 MOs, uh, you can check them later the list. Uh, we have some pending uh, MOs. Um, that we are working on details. The UNIGIS is not signed, but it's already approved, so it's going to be soon uh, part of our family. Um, we have a lot of events and conferences related to Phosphor Genocio. We don't have the full list because it's impossible. Well, Jeff McKenna used to monitor all mailing lists, but uh, it's really a hard work to check all the mailing lists and all the events that are happening. So um, if you are not listed here, it's because you uh, didn't list your event in our OCO webpage, which I highly recommend you to do because it's not on, only a way of keeping track of all the events that are happening each year, but also it's um, a way of um, advertise your event to other possible uh, participants. And remember that next year we have FOS4G 2020 in Calgary, Canada. So uh, you can start already booking your flights to Calgary and uh, booking your uh, uh, hotels or wherever you want to be. So the sooner, the cheaper, you know. Um, some photos of some events. This is Phos4G North America from this year. Uh, we have also done uh, the community sprints, uh, like the main community sprint in Minneapolis which uh, is not only focused on developers, but is also for uh, documentation and um, designers and all kind of um, help to, to get uh, the projects grow. We had the Bolsena Code Sprint in Italy. We had uh, the Java Code Sprint. We have Grass, uh, Open Layers, Phosphor DNA. Um, ah, and uh, next community spring in 2020 will be in Athens, Greek, Greek, Greece. Uh, we don't know exactly the day, but you can ask Angelos, I think. So, more photos of community sprint. You see, it's not only work, it's also fun. Both in a code sprint. Grass. This is not working, it should be a GIF. You can check later. Um, uh, OCO has also participated in other events. Um, so, uh, we are uh, going to... Um, friendly events uh, where we want to extend our, our outreach that uh, may or may not be directly a FOS4G event or a FOS4G related event. For example, the FOSDEM, it makes sense that OCEO is there, but it's not a FOS4G event. Uh, Treasure. 
Just want to say that OSGEO is quite healthy. We have an active bank account in both euros and dollars now. Um, the OSGEO, was established, OSGEO budget was established uh, in January. Um, you can see how much spending uh, we have allocated for the various projects. Uh, year to date, we've paid out $41,000 to the various projects and initiatives, and that's just a fraction of the total budget. So those projects of yours that are out there, get your requests in for funding for this year and get stuff done. Uh, we've had a few bylaw changes, a little bit of financial guidance put out, so be able to check those out on the OSGO website. Thank you. So, Secretary Report. Yes, hello. So, a quick uh, summary of the Secretary. From the Secretary, um, some contributor license agreements came um, to me and they had to um, uh, approve them and we are working on the memorandums of understanding and there's this UNIGUIS um, still in construct, under construction. And I remember I said I wasn't going to drop the mic. So if you can cue closer, because really, 25 seconds. I was one of the chief returning officers. We were three, Vasile, Jorge, and me. We, the numbers are there, the names are there. Please, uh, what, what the topic I want to cover is be a volunteer for chief returning officer. Since last year, we know that Vasile is not going to be part of the chief returning officer. Thanks. Next, uh, board elections. Uh, okay. I don't know which, no, 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 the archival updates. I don't know exactly what I was supposed to say here, but yes. Yes, recording the photos. We had to pay uh, Flickr because it was getting too big. So, yeah. You have there a link to, to help in rescuing these photos. So, OSGEO committees, which is the first one. Um, yes, please. <coughs> so, we have a lot of committees and initiatives. And okay, so UN committee, what we are doing is a challenge. Okay, uh, is a challenge, educational challenge, and then we are doing training for UN. And I think that that's that. Perfect. Uh, Geoffroll? Totally not me. Okay, Geoffroll is being very healthy, I know. And uh, if they are not here, that's it. They must be happy. Geoffroll, Libera America. Ah, Malena. Also happy. 20 seconds. So Geoffroll has a Spanish and Portuguese speaking group and they translate every month the, the newsletter and they have been growing in labs since 2012. And Finish. please check out the links. Next, marketing committee. I'll do that. Uh, we don't have one. We need volunteers. We haven't had a meeting in a while. Uh, after I step down from board, I'm hoping Astrid and I can start to put together a meeting. Um, indeed, we might have a breakout at the sprint this weekend. Don't hand me the microphone. Incubation. Uh, don't hand me the microphone. <laughs> uh, Incubation is how we try to help our projects not be embarrassing on the internet. We have a large budget. budget. We haven't had any requests to make use of it until Tom this afternoon. So uh, please, if we can help you get through incubation, talk to us. Uh, that's what we're for. Incubation committee? Um, Conference committee. Conference, that's me. Um, just want to announce we will kick out the call for the 2021 conference at 6th of September. So if you're not from North America and not from Europe, just heads up, look what happens on our mailing list and apply for the conference. Thanks. Thank you. Open Geoscience. I don't know. So Peter Löwe from Germany, he um, told me to say some words. So they are active at town hall meetings. They go to uh, event, this event every year and uh, greetings from them. They are in good health. System administration, Vicky. Hi from the system administration committee. <laughs> um, <laughs> please, uh, 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 please uh, have a look at, at our web page, fill up your information. All the things that the other teams for are, have been doing is in the slide. Thanks. Okay. I'll see your projects. Gracias. Who is Gracias? Totally not me. <laughs> so lots of stuff done. Hi there. Um, there was a talk yesterday. You can look at, at it in streaming. We have new functionality and Python 3 support, move to Git, and the rest is uh, evolving. 
new website. Thank you. New website is forthcoming. New website incoming. QGIS? Totally not me. I cannot believe there is no QGIS people here. <laughs> QGIS is a very nice desktop app that is very successful. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, OK, give it a sec. It's another desktop app, uh, Java, very nice. Geomus? Totally not me. Keep going. Kidao? <laughs> so we had a busy uh, last year with two, two feature versions and GDAR 3 using Project 6. We also had a, a re rewriting of our documentation, which looks great now, I hope. So enjoy. Uh, Orfeo Toolbox? So a new version is coming uh, in uh, October with a uh, lot of uh, improvements and uh, we also work a lot with our contributors with a nice uh, continuous uh, integration uh, that allows you to ease uh, contribution. Thank you. Hi, CSW. Hi. Hi. So we released a new version this year. Well, we are moving to Python 3. And uh, we had several, uh, we attended several meetings and uh, we are very happy to be here. Thank you. Geonode. Geonode. There are people from Geonode here. OK. By WPS? Still alive and continuing. <laughs> I love it. Marvel, no one from Marvel. Mapbender? So MapBender is doing well. Uh, we're working on a next release, and we are happy that we receive money from WithView for our website and for a community spin. Thank you. Map Server? So Map Server has had the 7.4 release this year. We've worked on MapScript stuff. We've, we're planning a Map Server 8 release in the coming year that's going to bring uh, the new Project 6 stuff. We've had a code sprint in Minneapolis, and I pass. Perfect. You are being very on time. GeoServer. Uh, we're pretty cheerful. Uh, actually, our uh, build server suffered a little bit of a meltdown, so we've been putting our back together. Uh, we would appreciate any, uh, we'd like to grow our community, so please join the GeoServer project. Good. Boss So we've built a new version 3. We are releasing new version 3 with a new Mapbox vector tiles with a cloud uh, optimized GOT support and uh, new GeoJSON support and a lot of stuff I talked uh, this morning. And uh, please let help us get all of our dependencies into distributions. Geos? Degree? Ge degree. So yeah, um, uh, we are quite active as well. Uh, we create uh, bug fix releases regularly, and uh, the OGC API features um, uh, support will be probably the next big feature for Degree. Thank you. Your network? I know they are alive and well, but was you alive? Yeah. All right, we had our, our release just a few days before uh, coming here. We have four new projects. We are updating uh, packages from Debian and Ubuntu, and uh, we are adding more translations and languages as we move along their uh, releases. So we are also involved in the Google Summer of Docs. Thank you. Your tools? Uh, we are alive and well. <laughs> <laughs> Open layers? Open layers? Very active project, and we worked a lot of in vector tiles improvement. Good. Mapfish? Mapfish. The name added the geo inside. It's now geo mapfish, and a lot of uh, up technolog technological upgrades. Thank you. Uh, was geo incubating? I think that's Jody. Yes. Okay. No? Oh, uh, Sue? So a quick update from the incubation project. Oh, we're going to do this. So I've made uh, one release this year. We will uh, come with a new release with WPS3 or OGC API processes. We are involved in uh, enlightened your research Indian to Europe program to upgrade the HPC support. We participated in the Phosphor G Asia 2019 professional workshop in Thailand, OSGO code sprint, uh, OGC code sprint in London, and we were uh, thankful to OSGO for the JSOC about MapMint and MapMint for me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is this... 
but uh, you have to queue. <laughs> On the queue on the other side. It's us, we just uh, our lives, and uh, we are in the middle of a redesign to make it more cloud friendly. And uh, we are planning in November an incubation spring called uh, partially funded by OCO. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, team Engine. So uh, we are constantly uh, creating new releases, and currently we are actively uh, working on uh, becoming like a full OSGO project. So we created a wiki page and issues for that. Thank you. Oscari? Hi. Uh, best part, I got a new contract for this year as a community manager. Yes, time series, 3D support vector features. We are hopefully waiting for graduation at some point. Please go to oscari.org to see more. Thank you. Proj? Enter the incubation, yes. Proj, uh, that's right. They, how is it possible they were not already? Yes, so we are going to add Proj soon to our family. Was your community uh, loader? Uh, it's very happy to be part of the uh, OSGO community. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> PG Rodwing. Uh, we're going to release uh, version three very soon, and we, do, and we want to stop to belong from, to the OSGO community, so we're going to apply to be an OSGO project. Thank you. Portable GIS, uh, again? Yes, um, well, this is Joe's project, but uh, as far as I know, it's actually gone into incubation, not into community, but it's been around since Phosphor G in Victoria, and it's finally getting organized. Okay, thank you. Actinia. So Artinia was introduced here on the conference, new uh, OSGO community project, REST API around GRASS, uh, but there's also GDAL support and others, uh, time series support and so forth. It's on OSGO Live to play with GitHub, Docker, and whatever you like to try it. Thank you. PyGeo API. Hi, PyGeo API is a new project, it's about a year, year and a half. Um, we achieved the OGC compliance and we're active at the OSGO sprints as well as the OS OGC sprints. So we welcome contributions and um, look forward to another report next year. Thank you. Local chapter updates. OSGO Africa. Hi, uh, we have activities going on. Uh, we have a mailing list, uh, OSGO Africa. Um, and please check out. Thanks. Thank you. Argentina. So uh, we are now an official local chapter, and pass the slides, please. That's the team. Please give a round of applause. Yes, and now the next. We are bidding for the next 2021 Phosphor-G International, so please support us. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Belgium. Okay, so OSGO Belgium, we have done a Phosphor-G, local Phosphor-V, with about 300 participants. We have done some other events, um, and one event I really want to talk about everyone here is FOSDEM. FOSDEM is the largest open source conference in Europe. Every year we try to have a geospatial room, and I'm looking for someone to organize it, because myself, I'm now organizing FOSDEM, so I'm no longer organizing the dev room. If you want to talk to me, you don't have to be from Belgium. It's really a fantastic uh, conference. So I hope to get at least some volunteers to do that. Yeah. Thank you. And I agree we should be in Fostem. Uh, Osio California. Osio Sisit. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Check. What's up? <laughs> Czech Language chapter is the remaining. However, we were uh, talking together with our Slovak colleagues to form something around Czech or Slovakia or Slovakia, Czech, whatever. So, uh, in case you are interested, please contact me or anybody else. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Germany? Germany, yes, we are very active, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> very active. We run a conference every year with 500 participants sold out. Next conference will be in Freiburg. Uh, we have a lot of hacking events, and we support other projects. We run some server, we support code sprint, and you can apply for support if you want. Thank you. <laughs> Europe. Somebody that went to the Europe Birds of a Feather? Yes, yeah, since I'm secretary, we are officially registered as a legal entity, thanks to Dirk Fringe, who couldn't make it here, unluckily. 
at this conference, and we are going to uh, extend. Yeah, we are going to extend Corfo venue till end of September uh, this year for the next Phosphorus Europe uh, in 2020. So please check the mailing list Phosphorus Europe at least of Sorry. Thank you. Finland. Running for 2020. Okay. <laughs> no, no, not running. So, new board, I'm now the president of the OSGO Finland. We had a Phosphor-G Suomi in, in, on May, 150 participants. This autumn we have a developers uh, meetup, and then we have an OSGO Park, copy from the Germany to IDEA, and then we have a roadshow in Finland because there's a, a, something else in outside of Helsinki. Thank you. France. India, Hungary, I didn't even know this existed, so imagine. <laughs> not, not because they are not active, because it's too much. Very quick, yes. uh, so we have a very vibrant and also prolific community. So 15 days ago, the daughter of the president was born, Giulia, and today the daughter of Gionod, so Simone Dalmasso, was born at uh, 12 today. That's right, I forgot. Island. We've just held our third conference. We're four years old next year. You're welcome to come over to uh, visit us. Uh, we're getting bigger, we're getting better, and if you want to sponsor us, we'd be only too happy to take your sponsorship. Thank you. Japan. Um, from last year's Asian, we have uh, four local conference, and uh, every conference uh, we got uh, more than 100 participants. Thank you. Thank you. Korean. You don't look Korean. <laughs> In the Netherlands. <laughs> yes. Um, OSGONL is the local chapter from uh, the, the Netherlands, and uh, since 2011 we have had the Phosphor GNL each year, and last one were 200 uh, participants, and we are here with uh, around 58 participants, but I don't think everyone has joined OSGONL, so look us up on the website, OSGONL. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, we, uh, we had a very successful conference, uh, Phosphor G State of the Map Oceania last November. We're uh, 75 days away from our second one in Wellington, New Zealand. We're already thinking about 2020 and planning that one, and we formed a local chapter, just was made official this week. Formed a local a legal entity, travel grant program. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, hi, so we keep having our uh, monthly classic meetings at the Fox and Fredder every month. Uh, also have a new member from Romania, Stefan, who brought a lot of uh, energy and passion to our chapter. And we've organized a series of workshops, and we plan on organizing more with the support of uh, Carleton University. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a quiet year for the Quebec chapter. For this fall, we're organizing a, a geo hackathon in collaboration with a group in Morocco. And uh, I heard there's going to be a Phosphor-G in Canada, so we might be involved as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Poland, Portugal. Hi, regards from Portugal. The chapter is, do, is going well. And you, I invite you to the next code sprint in the beginning of uh, October. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pacific Island? No? Romania? Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we didn't have the time to do what we normally do during a year. We organize three uh, Romanian events like this one, just smaller, smaller, smaller <laughs> scale. So this year, this was our entire activity, and I hope you had a great conference. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Spanish chapter, um, hi, we are alive. <laughs> we organize uh, yearly the Sig Libre, which is the Phosphor in Spain, and we have an, an conference that goes all over the Iberia Peninsula. That's it. Uh, OCO UK? Uh, we've got a 
Phosphor G UK coming up in Edinburgh the middle of next month if you're not completely Phosphor G'd out. Um, we had a successful conference last year uh, and we funded the raster styling coming out of QGIS going into, uh, into GIS server out of the profits from that conference. Okay, thank you. DC Mark. Sri Lanka. I speak on behalf of, sorry, uh, Nimalik, <laughs> Nimalika Fernando. So the OSGO Sri Lanka chapter was founded in 2018, where also the Phosphor G Asia was hosted. And it's very active in government and university promotion. There are um, two uh, geophoral labs and one more information. And there is the plan to do in 2020 the Phosphor G and state of the map. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is no, okay. OSGU initiatives, uh, Google Summer of Code. <laughs> I speak on behalf of the admins of this year, <laughs> Margarita and Helmut, and my students and my mentors. These are the data, we have participated since 12 years, I was admin a few years. And I would like to ask the mentors and the students of all the Summer of Codes so far to stand up. Applause. And a round of applause. Thank you. Uh, Google Coding. Sure. Um, so we had our second year with Google Coding. It was a good success again. Uh, we are slowly learning some new things, and we hope that more projects and mentors would join in for this year's one. Thank you. Thank you. Google Season of Docs. Yeah, I'm talking on um, behalf of the Google Season of Dogs team, um, which takes part, and it's an ongoing process still. Um, two senior writers will start in September to work on quick starts for our projects, and Cameron Shorter, Joe Cook, and some more people are involved there. Yeah, and uh, from this initiative, uh, it's uh, beginning the Google, how is it? No, Good Dogs project, so to try to help all of your projects to uh, get better documentation. Yeah, just to say hello to TIBAV portal. They are publishing our videos from the conference. They have a new five years anniversary this year, and soon there will be the videos from this conference there too. Thank you. This has been quick because a lot of uh, people here has been very quick, so I want to thank everyone on the queue, everyone that participated, and other things to the slides. And yeah, a big round of applause for all of us, why not?